First, how to discern deceptions of the heart. So anong gagawin natin? Number one, know the Word of God enough and increasingly. Dapat ho, alam natin ang Word of God. In construction, they have what is called a plumb line. They are construction person, pero yun ang describe nila. Meron yung linya doon, yun ang straight line. Dapat doon, dito mo subay ang, ang construction, okay? Hindi man pwede ba, ba slanting, uh, whatever, or, ba, or baluktot, okay? So the Word of God is our standard. You need to know the Word of God so you can say, hindi ito, tama, deception lang ito, therefore I should reject it. This is something that is not the will of God, therefore I should not jump into it. Know the Word of God. Could you please tell someone beside you, know the Word of God. Amen. Hebrews 4.12, For the Word of God is living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing even to the point of dividing soul from spirit and joints from marrow. It is able to judge the desires and thoughts of the heart. So, nalilito ka, yung thoughts, yung desires. So, you need to ask the Lord, Okay, Lord, ano ito? And then you need to go into the Scriptures to tell you, is this the right thing or not? The Scriptures will guide you. Amen. James 2.12 talks about the Word of God, which is the law of freedom or liber- liberty. Number two, submit to and listen attentively to the communications of the Holy Spirit. So, importante po, Word of God, yes, and then Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is saying something. Listen to Him. Listen to Him, okay? Listen to Him, okay? Meron man yung kinasabi si Lord sa loob mo. By the way, konsyensya mo rin. Pahinggan mo rin ng konsyensya mo. No, the conscience would tell you, hindi man ito tama. This is not right. This is not right. And so, the Holy Spirit will whisper something, will give you, medyo med- uncomfortable ka. The, you know, someone invites you into a business and they describe how it works and they tell you how you will become rich in six months. Blah, blah, blah. You can buy this yeah, car, that house or whatever. And you say, well, it can be straightforward yung business plan. Uh, there's compromise involved. No, I am not going into that, etc., etc. First Corinthians 2.11 uh, uh, for who among men knows the th- things of a man except the man's spirit within him? So no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. So allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Uh, John 14, 26, Jesus said, The advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything. Okay? Alam mo, God wants you to honor Him and obey Him and please Him. So, pag nalito ka, talangin mo lang siya at tuturuan ka niya. Amen? And so, He will do that. He will tell you. Okay? Next is, stay radically committed to Christ as His faithful and obedient disciple. Okay? Now, in the end, these things are medyo serioso. But in the end, our goal is to honor God. Honor God. Honor God. Now, I want to say this, okay? Some Pastors, Christian teachers tell us that the Christian life should always be exciting, always blast, and so on. That's really not true. Okay? Menong mga trials, may mga sacrifice. Let's read the words of Jesus. Jesus, ah, hindi tayo. Matthew 16, 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to become my follower, he must deny himself, take up or carry his cross, and follow me. Eh, yung deny yourself. Always exciting ba yan? Eh, hindi yan always exciting. Di ba? May opportunity ka na sana na umaman, may opportunity na mapansin, etc. Sana meron ng girl or, or, or guy na parang pagkasama mo siya, parang feeling mo happy ka. Pero alam mo, hindi tama. Okay? So you deny yourself. Amen? It's not always exciting. The Christian life is not always exciting. But we do it because we want to honor God. And ultimately, yun ang mag, magdadala sa atin ng mas tunay na blessing. Amen. Sige, palabakan natin si Lord. 25. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life because of me will find it. So, because of Jesus, you say no to that guy. Say no to that girl. Okay? Because of Jesus, because you love Jesus, you don't want to go into that immoral relationship, that illegal, dishonest business. Ayaw mong gumalaw ng pera ng iba. Ayaw mong manghimasok sa buhay ng may buhay, etc. Kasi you deny yourself. It is something that is, uh, that is uh, 
difficult to do, uh, maybe painful or lonely. But if you if you save your life, meaning gusto mong gawin yung gusto mo, kasi yun ang magpapasa you will lose your life. But if you lose your life, meaning you deny yourself, you will find it. Amen. So when God tells you no, He is actually sparing you from trouble. Amen. How many young people? Uyab, uyab, kwan, etc. Eventually, nabuntis, nakabuntis. Hindi na nakatapos ng pag-aaral. Gusto sana maging doktor, maging abogado. You know, I mean, all jobs are okay. All jobs, are, as far as long as they're honest, they're respectable, fine. But syempre naman, kung gusto mo maging doktor, abogado, at narating mo yun, di ba, mas maganda naman, di ba? Talang mission mo naman yun, di ba? O di, bakit din natin ingatan ang sarili natin para makarating tayo doon, Amen. Amen. Number four, be spiritually watchful and prayerful. Be spiritually watchful and prayerful. Okay, so we need to watch yourself and be prayerful. Matthew 26, 41, stay awake and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Number five, be spiritually accountable so that your heart can be guarded from sin and necessary correction can be given to you when the struggle compromise is beginning to happen. So, dito po yung life group. Being open to your leader, to your pastor, is very important. May mag-speak sa'yo. Kasi the heart will tell you, okay lang. Hindi ka pa nag-cross ng boundary. So, sobrang, nag-overnight kayo, okay? Magkasama sa isang kwarto, okay? You see, the heart can be very deceitful. Meron yung magkasintahan. Sabi niya, sige lang, doon ka lang magtulog sa boarding house ko. Wala tayong gagawing masama. Tabi lang tayo. Sinong lokohin mo? <laughs> Pero niloloko ka ng heart, may for you know it, buntis ka na, etc. So, we need to say, Lord, uh, help us, God. But kung meron magsabi sa'yo, Huy, huwag mo dapat gawin yan. Hindi yan tama. Accountable ka kasi. Hebrews 3.13 talks about that. Number six, exercise godly reasoning and see the issues and the meaning and implications that for what they really are without justifications, excuses, or alibis. So, godly reasoning is important. Meaning, ina-analyze mo rin. Okay? Itong bagay na ito, tama ba ito? Sabi nila ganito, sabi nila ganyan. Pero yan ba talaga yan? O baka hindi? Etc. 1 Peter 1.13 talks about getting your minds ready for action by being fully sober.